Hello everyone. Obviously the biggest piece of news about Ukraine today is the passing of the aid packet by U.S. House of Representatives. This has been a long time in the making. There's so much politics around this. It's dizzying. Um, obviously Russia and Marjorie Taylor Greene are losing their shit over this. But it's it's a good step forward for Ukraine. It's a hopeful day for Ukraine. Multiple sources provided what is in the package and how much of it is designated for which areas. Something to remember, for example, that not all of it is meant for weapons. A large portion of the package, the portion of it that goes to Ukraine, is intended for boosting Ukrainian economy, uh, restoring Ukrainian cities, Ukrainian fields, Ukrainian uh, manufacturing facilities, and so on and so forth. So much has been destroyed. Reuters has been very good posting updates as to the cost of this war, specifically the cost to Ukraine, the number of buildings destroyed, the, um, the monetary value of the damage in addition to uh, military and civilian casualties. So while we would all like for the aid to come as quickly as possible, as multiple people at this point said, we needed this money yesterday, Usually we needed it six months ago, but you know, you know the point. Um, this is still a complicated logistical process. So first of all, of course, uh, the Senate has to vote on it, right? And then there is the process of transferring the money and the goods to Ukraine, which of course is always complicated when we're dealing with a war-torn country. Now, this is interesting so there are indeed a lot of very ignorant people in russia there are ignorant people everywhere we know there are people in the u.s who think earth is flat so no surprise there but um russians are comparing u.s aid to ukraine to u.s interfering in vietnam let that sink in for a second yeah, totally the same thing. Not. One has to be deeply ignorant or deeply hell-bent on lying to make this parallel. I am not condoning U.S. presence in Vietnam or in Korea, for that matter. We had no business being there. That was, you know, the uh, direct result of anti-communist propaganda the, the Red Scare, all of that, you know, way back during that period of time following World War II. McCarthyism, the witch hunts, you know, Trump says that he's a victim of the witch hunt. He has no idea what he's talking about. Let's ship him off to the 50s, see how he does. So, U.S. had no business being in Vietnam. And... U.S. did go into Vietnam and there were U.S. troops in Vietnam. By comparison, there are no U.S., U.N., E.U. or NATO troops in Ukraine. There are people who have been arguing with me on the subject saying, yes, we do have boots on the ground. Oh, yes, yeah, show me the proof. Show me one credible piece of evidence from a valid source not from a conspiracy theory source but from a valid source that this is true because I know you can't find any and Ukraine basically had to fight for every single penny given to it by any of the allies but of course you know they had to say something you know they had to have the last word so it doesn't surprise me that um you know this was the response i pretty much expected them to go nuts over this so they're going to continue bitching about this i'm just hoping 
that having spent these last many months perfecting the art of doing more with less, Ukraine will use this money and whatever weapons and uh, ammunition sent to them in such a way that Russians just shit themselves. Meanwhile, the badly, sorely needed uh, air defense systems have been pledged by NATO. Um, right now, we have um, three or four, I think, on Ukrainian territory, air defense systems basically operating at <laughs> top capacity. We really need 25. 30 would be better. I mean, considering just the sheer pum pummeling Ukraine is getting and has been getting for a long time. Uh, when I talked to my parents, again, um, they confirmed that um, the pattern of attacks against Ukrainian cities has been the same. Uh, so there would be a day or two of respite and then another big hit something massive ongoing for hours and hours and hours on end so yeah if if you guys can float us a few more air defense systems that would be awesome meanwhile this is what i was talking about um when i referred to ukraine's perfecting the art of doing more with less this so when Ukrainians realize that it's going to take forever to get any help, be it from the United States or from any of the other allies, they said, okay, what have we got here and now? What do we have? What we do have is some old Soviet arsenals. And uh, they said, okay, let's, um, let's see what we can do with these. Uh, basically pulled in army engineers, regular engineers, everybody who could pitch in and help with this and help retrofit those old pieces of junk for modern use. In fact, you know, there is the continuing discussion that the allegedly unbeatable, invincible airplane that Ukrainians had shot down recently has been sh shot down by exactly one such setup. An yeah. old piece of junk left over fr from the Soviet times, retrofitted, you know, whipped into shape and used accordingly. This is Ukraine.